Chip Collier is without a front tooth, but only for a few more minutes. Today, he's getting a new crown. But, uh, I could round those up a bit if you like. He's been coming to Dr. Dave Rummel for 30 years, because when it comes to teeth, he's more concerned about his health than his smile. Say, the reason I come here is because I know I can trust the dentist I have, and I know that I'm going to get good workmanship. Dr. Rummel is one of the few dentists in central Ohio who makes his own crowns, bridges, and dentures right at his office. Most other dentists rely on outside dental labs. The labs can be down the street or even overseas. Work is increasingly outsourced to places like China, a country where jewelry and toys have been under heavy scrutiny because of lead concerns. Now, the dental community worries unsafe metals have reached their industry, too. It's one thing in a toy, which a child plays with for 20 minutes at a time, and it's another thing when it's in somebody's mouth for a lifetime. But the concerns became widespread when the National Association of Dental Laboratories stepped in. Last fall, the NADL sent a letter to the FDA, the agency responsible for dental work, outlining the risk of lead contamination. They wrote, U.S. labs import millions of devices as dentists seek lower costs, yet the FDA doesn't register or track labs. The other worry, only three states regulate. Ohio isn't one of them. So labs can outsource and patients may never. Currently, laboratories that are outsourcing work overseas are required to disclose those that to their dentist through existing FDA regulations. But that's where it stops. That disclosure does not have to pass on to the patient. And 10 investigates learned the deception goes one step further. Sometimes labs don't tell dentists, leaving dentists to unknowingly place foreign products in patients' mouths. In the U.S., the materials in your dental work are FDA approved. It's supposed to be that way in foreign countries. But the only problem, the FDA doesn't have any way to enforce it. With millions of products and not enough manpower, the work crosses borders. In lands and places like Ravenna, Ohio, here a 73-year-old woman hired a lawyer to sue her dentist. When she received a new bridge last year, the pain became so severe she couldn't chew. Look at the silver flax. The dentist, she says, filed the porcelain down to the metal to make it fit. She began to have some pretty significant allergic reactions and, and complications and infection. That, that stemmed from the restoration that ultimately had to be removed. The woman told 10 Investigate she then discovered her bridge was made in China. Worried, she had a lab tested for hazardous materials. The lab determined the porcelain filed away in her mouth contained lead. She's since undergone two surgeries. With an estimated 7 million crowns coming into our country each year, we wondered how much lead is in outsourced dental work. So 10 Investigates ordered eight crowns from four different Chinese labs. With help from Dr. Rommel's office, each lab received the same prescription. And two weeks later, they arrived. 10 Investigates first used a device that screens for lead. Of the eight, one crown... So we are getting some lead on this one. ...came up positive. We sent our sample to a Cleveland lab, NSL Analytics, for scientific proof. They specialize in testing metals. Here, we instantly found lead in the porcelain, 210 parts per million, even higher than the lead in the Ravenna Woman's Bridge, which measured 160 parts per million. With no known research on lead in dental work, the lab can only compare to toy standards. They say toys leaching lead over 90 parts per million are hazardous. Again, on this crown, we found 210 parts per million. But it doesn't sound good. Dr. Marcel Cassavant runs Central Ohio's lead program and also a poison control center. Never would have guessed somebody would put lead into a piece or a part designed to be installed into a human being. Dr. Cassavant says he would have never linked lead poisoning to dental work, but now... So I'll have to add to my list of questions, what kind of dental work have you had, and I wonder if it's possible to get that stuff tested. Test results may prove a risk, but the government holds the key to change. We don't know a lot about the labs. The state dental board admits they aren't sure what's happening in the state's 300-some labs, leaving the burden to fall on the dentist. 
we're just going to continue to look at the dentist and hold the dentist responsible for what's being done until such time as some regulations and standards and guidelines are put in place for labs that's all we can do wherever the blame falls dentists labs the state or the fda patients carry the true burden with now much more at stake than a smile if a medical device is made out of a foreign country I think that the patient should know.